World of YouTube out you here with another missing story of uh, another missing child. This is uh, this is going to be about Deborah Ann Quimby of Townsend, Mass. As you can see down here, I got a picture of her and her missing thing from the uh, Charlie Project blog. Um, She's been missing since 1977, and um, I have the dog attacking me tonight. <laughs> Good old dog, um, May 3rd to be exact. Now, um, this case to me is very bizarre. Um, she uh, left the note on May 3rd that um she left her parents saying she wants was going to ride a bike bicycle from their home to uh Smith I mean from Smith Street to uh Vinton Pond Road. Um now today I took a trip down these routes to do some, you know, rooting on my journey. I'm gonna bring in my next video and bring you where she said I'm gonna do a Google map search too due to there are some places that I cannot bring in the camera or if I try to I'll have to see what I can get because it is in the wooded area but I might be doing a couple videos on this three maybe tops but um this one is gonna be uh just about this and um you know in where she was last seen which which is why it brings me to a bizarre scene because in the story here it says that she left the note she wanted to sort some problems out so she's going to the grandparents camp on Vinton Pond Road um she told her she wrote a letter that was in school in her locker that was not sent that she was going to obviously give to a friend but the friend never received it she wanted to talk to that friend which the um police report said of the chief of police now this is the charlie blog here like i said and they say that she wanted to meet a friend and talk about some problems nothing more um in the letter she said she wanted to talk to friends because she's having issues problems she need to talk to this person and you know in this article it said that she could have been pregnant now in the article from the chief of police that say nothing about being pregnant it was just a thought theory from someone but the more I look at this story and think about it and how it comes out and you know it just sucks to say because the police are not to give out a lot of information on this case when they're investigating it to people you know, due to safety reasons or something. But, um, it just leaves you confused and, you know, sitting there wondering, well, what the hell is going on? Really, you know? And they they must have did their last search in 2009 because they did uh, do this Walker Pond. I'm going to show you in this Google map. Um, whoa, pug. Um... Like I said, in this, on this traveling part, I'm going to bring you into the Google Map area. You're going to see this thing and how bizarre this case really is. Because, you know, she wanted, she was accompanied by a friend from this, from her house. Um, and then later down the road on Turnpike Road, the friend stopped and let her carry it on by herself. For some apparent reason. Now the other friend was I don't I believe was not the friend that was to that was accompanying her. The other friend must have been someone else, who knows? Um and it does say the other friend I mean the friend that did accompany her they didn't say who it was. The one she wanted to meet was a girl. So whether this good this other friend that was riding with her or whatnot on bikes was a boy or a girl it's just it wasn't stated in either you know um 
listing of the case. So it's confusing. And that's what the cops do. They make stories sound confusing, leave to say what the hell is really going on here. But I mean, but what makes it more bizarre is that they search this one pond, Walker Pond, which I'll show you in a few minutes. Um, and there's other ponds around there. And um, to say that she was in there just because they got this letter, two letters, 2002, 2003, and someone gave an anonymous tip, check the pawn, you know, they keep saying it in, in these two letters, and they come up with nothing. They were going to check the pawn, I guess, in 2009, but then again, yet, that was the last search they were ever going to do. But when you look at this Google map, and where I'm going to bring you in my next video, you'll see that there is more than just one pawn to search in this area. And you'll never know, you know, I think this might also could be, you know, a later date of a 1973 serial killer that was doing murders in the area of Townsend of a teacher in, of this town too um, in 1973 and she was left down the street from her house but the murderer was never found then he moved his way to Fitchburg and I think he also moved his way out to um, Barry mass so I mean this guy was on the radar he was never caught never found and you know whether it be irrelevant to this case or not I believe that person due to the fact he was never found I think he might have did this too or there could be a, my thought and theory of maybe she was pregnant maybe she was gonna talk about a boy that got her pregnant and um, maybe that boy then got spooked and killed her. And, you know, back in these days when you get knocked up and stuff, you know, parents weren't fond of that stuff like today. You get knocked up today, it's like, oh, we'll take care of it. That's all right. Back then, you didn't have a choice. You had to hide that pregnancy or you or something bad was going to happen or you would get thrown out or the parents would give you money and throw you out. <laughs> Or some would just take it in and, you know, deal with it. But back in them days, a lot of girls that got knocked up, they were sent to fend for themselves. So being scared and knocked up back in them days, yeah, it's, a, it's not a joke. So whatever it may be and how strict these parents were. And uh, the father died, unfortunately, in 2009. And the mother didn't want to do no more interviewing on this story. So, I mean, whatever it is, is in... Um, why she don't want to continue searching is beyond me because like I said there's other places in here you know even though she could have been taken to another town there's still a lot of woods and areas when I bring you in my second video I show you of a lot of places where this person just could have dumped her off and the cops ain't searching so anyway let's start off with Smith Street this is uh, where she lived and I don't know what house it doesn't give addresses of any of the houses, but, um, you come down here now, do these back in these days, you, you'd think either one of the parents told her to stay off the main roads, because 13 and 119, these days are busy roads, I don't know, maybe they were in 77, I mean, they're not highways, but they are major roads to get in between towns and all, so, she must have did a little safety route. Maybe for the parents' sake of telling her don't do that way. Or maybe she didn't want to be seen that day by her parents. Because, yeah, she had some issues is right. And who knows what they were. Pregnancy, big issue back then. So I think she maybe came down and went over here on um, School Street. And as you can see, there's a little cutoff through here to lead right on to 119. Now, you do have a little traveling mark bridge here that you got to go over to get the Turnpike Road. But here's Turnpike Road cutting into the middle school that where she used to be, uh, was used to go to school. The Turnpike Road does, it does have a hill on it. I went searching today. I went in route today to figure out and do some searching of my own. And this one does have... You know, a little hill that I believe that she rode down and was last seen on. Why the friends stopped riding with her is beyond me. But um, maybe due to the problems or issues she had, you know. 
or maybe it was a boy that was with her that day that no one knows of and because it don't specify who was riding with her and you know kill her what what could be I mean here's the uh, little pond they said and they drained two times and searched um, came up nothing they did find clothing a couple bikes but they weren't hers and now the funny thing is now maybe do that is a junkyard and some buildings in this area but here's another pond right here I mean if someone wanted to scoop on by the wooded area or whatnot back then who knows it looks swampy around in this area now but who knows what it looked like in 77 I know they got a new housing project coming up this way but up in here from that pond a half a mile down the road they, there's a hill that curves off and um, this is where they said they last saw her. Now that might have been the friend she was with. Maybe a traveling, you know, person in the car. But who knows. Like I said, the cops don't give them much information. And that's why cases don't get solved too quick either. You know, you never know if you throw out a little more info and stuff. What you may find or what people may come out with. But they just don't want to do it. And So anyways... All in here, like I said, was about where she was picked up. Now, whether or not she was thrown in either pond, or maybe, you know, if you go down further, you got a river here. A little brook there, but that was nothing. And you come on Old Turnpike Road, there's another little pond up here. And where is it? It's, uh, shit. Dudley Road? No. Hang on a sec. Yeah. Oh, went the wrong way. Right here. Two ponds off of Old Turnpike Road. And I didn't pass them today. I turned off on Dudley Road here because that's where the uh, en route site would be the quickest to her grandmother's. But what if someone threw her here, which is they say is off the side of the road, the one walker pond, the first pond I show you. You can see it when you drive by it. I drove by it today, but this one's even closer. Then you can walk out here in the woods. There's a lot of woods pond there. And even if you come off Dudley Road, I mean, someone could have dumped their body off in there, but they didn't search. No one searched. Now, whether or not you can search these, I got to find out. That's what I'll be doing in my next video. But I want to show you the distance of her grandparents' house. When I drove it today, to me it seemed like five miles. And a hike is longer on a bike, which I'm going to figure out on my Google Maps here. As you can see, you got the car here. When you do roads together from your destination to where you're going, which I'm going to do, it shows you the bike, walk, <laughs> car, bus. And I'm going to see how long it is riding a bike. But you got to cut down here on Dudley Road. And you got to come out on there on Canal Street. And you got to come right over here. Oh no, you got to go down here to New Fitchburg Road. So. You're doing a little, or you can cut over here. See if she went down here, cut over. Today I went down New Fitchburg Road, but that ain't no biggie. I mean, either or, as you can see, you can cut over. Save you the trouble of staying in the, uh, staying out of traffic. Ah, come on. I don't want that. But, um, so you come down here, and when you drive on this New Fitchburg Road to get to where... <laughs> She was going. It's like a damn friggin' long trail. To me, it seems like five miles. And who knows how long she had to ride on this street here, which is here you go. You turn left, and you got the Vinton Pond Road. Now, this road's friggin' even longer. And I'll just show you real quickly. I don't know where the campsite was, but there was a pretty good amount of houses in the woods tucked away. But as you can see, it does cut off. Right here, I mean, it starts back up in the Fitch or Ashby area here, but all this is Townsend, and that's a long road right there. That's along my tip of my finger. So, whether or not she was traveling that road or not, there's a pond there that she could be at. And who knows if this person knew of it? Who knows if it was the killer with a guilty conscience, like I said, a boy that got impregnated? You know. No one's going to know because the story don't give out much details, but 
And yeah, you, you, you would never know until you find the body, but even that would be, you know, irrelevant because if there was a baby in there, it's already eaten up. The skin and flesh is eaten up, but, you know, sucks to say, man, this, this is one crazy, bizarre story. And like I said, as you can see, as you travel, it's like a five-mile drive. And like I said, I'm going to bring you live throughout this route. I'm going to bring you to the pond where they think she is and like right here and I'm not even going to stop up to this pond and see how this one looks because I didn't do that today but um, I mean shoot they could even get this road confused with the new turnpike road and all that or they can be up there there's another you know pond up here and just think it's that cut off and goes up there people get confused you know but I think it's yeah it's just someone just Got scared, maybe a guilty conscience, and then wrote something, but thrown off track. Maybe they think that they would take another look somewhere else, or whatever it may be. This this fucking story is just bizarre, crazy bizarre. And to me, not in, not coming out with who the friend was that stopped going with her, or putting out the name of the friend that was she wanted to meet. But then again, who knows what she had to do with it or even wanted to know. But this friend that went with her, she had to have talked to her on the way. You know, maybe she told her, oh, I'm going down here because I got problems. I'm pregnant. I don't know what to do. And maybe this, this, maybe this friend she was with got scared and didn't want to be with her. Or if it was the boy, you know, who got her pregnant at that. Maybe he got scared, right? Oh, killed her. And it's just sick to say it just had to happen that way, but I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a little adventure on this and just see what I can get and you know, but who knows, you know, this turnpike road is a big wooded area. I mean I don't know what was on that road at the time of nineteen seventy seven, but I'm just gonna go through it. I know that hillet area where the uh hill is is wooded, nothing around it but wood so you never know maybe someone bashed their skull out there when she went down the hill supposedly what they said in the article and they were waiting for her or maybe someone was following her and I mean there's easily ways to see I mean in here with the school they could have been waiting by the school and um watch her drive by on Turnpike Road if that's her normal route to her grandmother's and then followed her up the way you know, spying on her and the other friend watched the other friend leave or whatever and killed her. But whatever it is, it's a bizarre story. I'm going to take you through it. But I just wanted to do the Google map because some of this stuff I probably won't be able to get on video because it's in the woods and therefore. But other than that, YouTube, I'm going to get off here and hopefully get some sparks flying and memory for people of this story because, you know... 1977 till now that that's just too long and for people to not look in other places is even more wrong <laughs> other than that you know just one walk or a pond just just go to this pond and check it you know don't check the one over here or the one down the street you know over here or maybe even right here <laughs> I mean there's more possibilities and they gave up I think in 2009 the, the chief was saying in 2009 they were done after that last search so whatever the case may be other than that I'm going to see what I can find out I don't know I don't know I can't go scuba diving I ain't got no scuba suit scuba gear and who knows how much water markers and snakes and eels and, well, I'd jump in the pond myself over here and check shit out but other than that, YouTube, I'm going to get out of here, and next video coming up, like I said, I'm going to bring you route on route of where she disappeared. i tell you, through them woods and areas, you get an eerie feeling, too, because it's just the way it looks, and it looks like something out of a movie, man, and it's just, it's just bizarre how this one turned out, too, you know, and giving up, like they say, like they're going to, you know, well, we're going to do one search, and... I mean, the wooded areas around here, too, you know, and there's a state park, and that's, like, rest, not park area. It's all, like, state park area, I believe, and, yeah, the camp still lies over here, and, 
Like I say, here's the camp area, and they still got a lot of stuff to go to. And there's a, maybe a possibility that there is a turnpike road over here, but I went over there and saw no ponds. I mean, there is these two things here, which I think is farmland. I went up there, too, to check out the turnpike road. There's two ponds there. And then you come down here. I mean, there could be, see, this is turnpike road in Ashby, though. And then you got a pond here. Someone could have got it confused and said off a turnpike road or meant to say that. Could be here. You know, there's all kinds of possibilities. Even the river runs through the um, park here on the main road. Like, yeah, right there, you see the line along here? That's a river right there. So, a river on the other side at that, I mean, it runs through both sides of the road. So, there's all kinds of things out there that could be looked at. Maybe, I mean, if you got the time, try it. If not, hey, what, at least you tried. But, till the next video of the road search we're going to do. I might do another video, but over here, just to show you what that turnpike road looks out like. But other than that, YouTube, I am out.